Well, hello everyone, and welcome to the Summer of Games, part 36. And we're here with Age of Wonders 2. So I figured that we'd just, you know, kind of go into it. I assume it won't take too long to load up, because, you know, it is, I think, a relatively old game. Uh, you know, hopefully. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully. So yeah, we're playing, we're playing some Age of Wonders. So, uh, uh a while ago, it's probably, it's been... It's been a few months, I think, for me, and then obviously it's been even longer for, you know, people watching this. As in, you, know, you all watching this. Anyways, um, uh, it's, yeah, so there was a, uh, a Paradox Games, like, uh, like, uh, Uh, Humble Bundle sale or something like that, and this was uh, one of the things included. So you know, I got, Gone. I got this. And, Our last several other games. Destroyed. So this is the, like the we first one that we played out of climb. all of those games. That I got on from the that. most remote isle. Although I guess the gods you know, abandoned us a couple days ago. Queen Julia and her elves talk of aid, but do nothing. Played the first Lego game that I Humanity got. Humanity is doomed to extinction. So, you know, whatever. Merlin! There, to the east. I don't know what's going on. I don't know why it's like. So small. Maybe it's just kind of crazy. It's pretty crazy. So we're actually playing. Help the board! Ready? Empire Age of Mythology. Fire! Obviously, not have anything like that. I don't think I really played that any of them. It's my own. I really like these games. It's just you know I tend to have problems with. Didn't have problems with it. These types of things that suck. <laughs> so, you know, hopefully this will go better than uh, Lords of Realm 2 did a couple of days ago, because that went absolutely horribly, and I don't know why. I don't think I did Merlin. anything wrong. It just Merlin. went completely to shit. You are safe here. Where am I? Come. Some things are happening. The world right now, is out of balance. I don't understand. The wizards circle in every world is broken, and its wizards well, rage upon the earth with the same moral it. forces that created her. I, Gabriel, am all that remains to protect the wizard's throne. I dare not leave this place, and yet question, I do not know why game? my wizards have forsaken me. They must be stopped before all is destroyed. Master each sphere of magic. Only a human can restore balance to the circle and the world. Arise. Your initiation begins. For your people, all people, restore the Age of Wonders. September 30th, 1999. Okay. I don't know if that counts the Wizard's Throne, but... Uh, it means that, it will, that this game is older than I am. <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna go for a uh, campaign, I guess, because why not? Uh, let's go. Okay, let's do tutorial. Obviously, it seems like the best way to do it. Cosmos Tutorial. There's William Wallace in this game. Uh, yeah, I guess it came out in 2002. Wizard's Throne came out in 2002, I assume. I don't think it's okay. Uh, yeah. Heed my words, Merlin, and you shall learn the path to the Wizard's Throne. I, Gabriel, shall it's guide you and games. give you the power to master each sphere of magic. But first, you have <laughs> not much the oldest to learn, game I played so far, because obviously time. I played Lords of Realm 2, and that was made in like 1996. Power. But let this you know, mana flow through you, allow it to inspire your mind, and over time you shall learn new spells. Or if you choose, this game, focus these energies those. inward to yeah. learn skills of power. Look, look. It's why I intend on playing this. I need to know about. 
The races of your world do not cooperate easily, but you will need them. You must be sensitive to each group and balance their needs and demands with your own. Do not be idle. Teach your people to be industrious. I am not paying attention to tools, this. <laughs> fortifications, and structures of power. Instruct like them to expand it? over the face of the land. Lift them up, and they will help like you Sid. expand your own domain. It, it, it seems like it's a build thing. I kind of know a little about this because I've, I've seen of all like little bits of gameplay, but not the really Wizard's like, Tower. Be like, okay, I, I at least know how to play this game. But I assume you just build things. It's sort of like. Um, let's go with classic, I guess, because that's kind of the thing, I guess, because it's, you know, classic. Um, it's, um, I don't know what to do. Okay, I guess I don't really have any choice to do anything, so I'll just kind of do it. It's your turn. Oh, God. First, the boring part. Uh, man. The three windows across the bottom of your screen. Starting on the far left, the events windows, so just the things that are happening. I assume. Events, center, main window, place where you occurred. That's the icon, some numbers, just to each. That's down here. Um, Pile of gold shows your golden income, obviously. Crystals and mana. And the last one is the number of magic casting pieces turn. Okay. Main options, five big icons, magic. Five big icons to ready where your magic up. These icons to run the magic options, the object options, the realm options, diplomatic options, and the game options. Jesus Christ. As you options, one may come up when you have your dog selected. So lastly, we have the main map so here. the tiny representation of the entire map scenario. Jesus Christ, it's huge. Uh, is this an underground? Oh boy, it's game. Um, okay. And if the map, uh, if the map supports both surface and cavern levels, there will be a, a tab at the top of the map to the surface and the tab to the main. Okay. Um, I think there's two winners down. It's all about magic. The game starts in the middle panel show your Lizzie portrait. Flanked by buttons for your spells and research. Spell book and spell you spell book. Spell book. Spell book. Spell book. Research. Book. Right, so can display the spell you're researching, and also the number of turns it will take before a spell is researching the cast. First, click on the research button. Oh boy, this is a. <laughs> there's gonna be a lot of reading. I'm not ready for this. Um, research here, you can see all the spells you can click on research. So the spell you can see, hold the mouse over a spell which shows the description. Don't worry too much about which one you should pick, you won't need to know this tutorial. A unicorn. Uh, it's gonna take a while to learn. He'll just stick with my current spells. Spellbook. Here you can see all the spells you have researched and cast. Spells are divided into three types. Spells are supposed to be cast on the world map. Unit spells can be cast on the world map. And during combat, wouldn't it be just you can, okay, and combat spells can be cast during battles. They cast the spell Magic Servant to summon this helpful unit, summoning the round, and you'll get the message when the round is done. Servant. Uh, okay. This is where all the important stuff in. Anything in the main window from units to cities to windows to bring more information on the object. Most of the time, it is a very cool appearance box. You can play 
there's some magic options in the window. You'll notice that you can only see a small portion of the map as the black and the grayed out. The black areas represent areas that have explored, that have surprised, that have a lot of games. You can do that in Lord's Realm 2 if you don't if you decide to do that. On the bridge. Okay. Uh, after you finish moving your units and managing your cities and structures, you turn check mark. Um, on your right, so turn button. Classic turn, pressing all the other players take their turn, the lights next to the show you just turn. Um, simultaneous turns, these will show when the players finish their turn and then all the full. So classic is sort of like playing Civ, whereas uh, simulation or uh, simultaneous is like playing Civ. They all take turns at the same time. Usually, you're the last one. I mean, I, I like. Oh boy. A hero awaits you at the end of the bridge along with four elemental units. Here are the most important units. the most important powerful units in your command. Cast unit combat spells or new skills that can defeat enemies and yield items of great power. Well, you don't begin each scenario with a hero. In most cases, you will usually have a chance to recruit them quickly based on based upon your wizard's reputation. The better your wizard's reputation, the easier it is for the hero. Probably the most important function of heroes will be extend wizard's domain beyond what is usually beyond what it usually reaches. Each hero raises a small sphere of domain that allows your wizard to cast spells to find so that you cast enchantments and use party set creatures to aid and cast spells and battles this information to the when you select your move and now suppose your hero party will save the lost cursor and then change the talk icon in the hair Okay, um, is it over here? This? Oh, goodness. Zero gold pieces. I will accept. Oh, Jesus. Uh, units. You now have a new party of units under your control. Units have six basic statistics that describe their strength. The attack statistics describes how effective the unit's attacks are in slipping past the enemy's defenses. Damage is the potential amount of damage that the unit can do when it strikes its target. Now, the higher the defense value, the easier it is for the unit to dodge into physical attacks. The resistance value, the easier it is for the unit to stand in coming magical attacks. Hit points is simply a representation of how much damage the unit can take before dying. And move points describe the amount of distance the unit can travel per turn, both on the overland map and in combat. Uh, you can also have a list of abilities next to the name. All units have some kind of movement abilities such as walking and some form of defensive abilities like strike and archery. Beyond this common thread, however, abilities vary greatly from unit to unit in this case. For more units, including morale, upkeep, alignment, and skill ranks, please refer to the user manual. Bought some steel, I don't have any. So fast. Um. Now what? <laughs> um. So I have another party here. Cities are the most important map structures in the land. The bottom panel displays the production queue and information about the city's income. The panel on the left of the screen displays the city's options for over three tabs, unit structures and miscellaneous. The panel on the right shows city information including the town of structures, city enchantments, and racial bonuses. As the town grows, it will have more options to build advanced units and see in defenses. See the city production table manual for more details. The amount of turns a production takes to building 
to build depends on its cost and the production points of the town. If the structure costs 100 gold, for example, and the town has 20 production points, we'll take it on terms of this. For now, let's set a couple of productions for the coming turns. This is done by clicking on their icons in the whole panel. Move, begin production. Uh, this guy. I assume that's what we're No magic vaults! Uh, contains arcane power that will instantly keep you in your spell. The, this undefined magic vault contains the freeze water spell that will get you over the river blind in the east. You cast a spell click on the spell button, you select freeze water and position the targeting glow over the river, and click the spell. Whatever. Your spell is ready now. When pressing the cast button, it will trigger spells like summoning spells require targeting. You can target a spell anywhere within your magical domain, which is indicated by the blue dots. For a summon magic servant, it's best to target the spell at your hero party so the magic servant can join the people request. So go ahead and set the there we go, that's what I thought I could. Freeze water. Well, let's see. you going over there. I want you over here. Why can I not click on these fucks? Thank you. Jesus. It's over here, I guess. What's going on over here? The Spears of Magic. Magic is subdivided into six specific spheres and one general sphere. Each of these spheres represents a certain aspect of the universe, ranging from the powers of the best, 
life to raw elemental fury. The energy of the spheres manifests itself through power nodes. They are the most important source for wizards. Nodes generally typically generate 10 power, but a node to your specific sphere will generate 20 power. By the end of the Sources of power from the power tab of the actually turn the volume down in this game. So, you know. <laughs> what a playlist. Um, I don't know which one is the correct one. Power node, uh, water node, death node, earth node, fire node, life node, air node. One of those are cosmos. I don't know. Fucking go somewhere, I guess. Fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Don't think I did. <laughs> at all. At any point. What the hell is going on? Bless has been researched. Sure. Um, you. Head over, head, head over here. Do something. Uh, uh, magic domains. Your wizard can cast spells in the overland map and in any combat takes place within his domain. A colored border encircling your wizard represents your domain. To expand your domain, you can move your wizard into a city that possesses a wizard's tower. Wizard's towers are easily recognizable in cities by the huge spiraling tower protruding from the city center. As long as your wizard remains in the city, his domain will be greatly expanded. You can build expansions to a wizard's tower to further increase your domain. If you find that your domain is too withdrawn from the front line of combat, you may need to construct new wizard towers in cities closer to your enemy. Uh, heroes also expand your wizard's domain. To be exact, they also allow your wizard to cast spells within a one hex radius of the hero on the overland map. Uh, this also uh, this includes both combat and overland spells for this purpose. Heroes are invaluable for leading offensive strikes into enemy territory, leading into especially into another wizard's domain. Now, Merlin, in order to proceed, you must challenge me personally. Walk towards the water mill. Okay. Well, I all right. So I think I screwed up. So there is a wizard tower in the city. So my guy. Fuck off! It doesn't- I don't want you to go back, you fucking garbo. Anyways, let's, uh, let's head over into- into there. So we can not screw this up. Wizard's Tower. Wizard- Wizard Tower- Hmm. Okay. You can sell it. <laughs> I think we're good. Alright. Independence are moving. This guy. Over here, my guy. It will move over here, my guy. Ha! Diplomacy! <laughs> Jesus. Before you can attack me, you must declare war on me. To bring up the diplomacy window, click on the diplomatic options button. Uh, in the lineup of wizards, your wizard is always pictured at the far left, and each subsequent wizard you meet will fill an empty spot. The color of the drapes surrounding each wizard's portraits represents their banner color. Whenever your diplomatic options come up, your wizard is selected by default. Underneath each other wizard's portrait will be a description of the selected wizard's diplomatic stance towards them, such as war or peace. If the line below a wizard's portrait is blank, you have no diplomatic relations with them yet. 
Oh god. The middle window will by default display information on your wizard when you bring up the diplomatic options. The left half of the window will display your wizard reputation, alignment, sphere, and who's controlling the wizard, player or computer, and what skills they possess. You can click on the info button for more information on your wizard's famous or infamous deeds and his background story. The right half of the window will display a list of each race available in that scenario with a face next to each race representing your race relation with that with that race Jesus you can click on each race for more information on what they like or on why they like or uh, why they like or dislike you along with their background story clicking a wizard and clicking on negotiate will make two columns appear the column on the left represents your diplomatic assets the column on the right represents uh, your oh my God. represents your opponents you can ar arrange trades gifts demands and packs all from the screen put something on the table double click on it and highlight or or highlight it and hit add offer or add request to take something off the table double click it on your hot on it or highlight it with and a remove button will pop up on the middle middle window uh, every type of transaction has a mana cost involved which will be shown above your offer a helpful advisor will appear in the middle window giving you the odds of how successful your proposal will be once you arrange your proposal and you've got the required mana for it hit send otherwise end negotiations by hitting cancel wizards with similar alignments to yours are easier to deal with than wizards with opposing alignments your wizard reputation also has an impact on how easy it is to successfully negotiate with other wizards while alignment is determined at the start of a scenario reputation varies depending on the on the actions of the wizard has taken in that scenario oh god now it's like me declare war declare war send uh, okay Fucking combat. Jesus Christ. If you send your hero to my location, you'll be asked whether you want to command the battle or let the game simulate it. Select yes to command the battle and the combat will begin. The defenders get to move first, so the first thing you'll see is my magic servant attacking your units. I will also cast a mild spell on you. When that is over, your turn will start. Your turn begins with the unit selected by default. You may move this unit or select another unit to move. When a unit is selected, you can see its stats and abilities in the bottom panel. The abilities tell you what you can do with the unit. Highlighted abilities can be used by clicking on them. Range attacks like shoot, uh, shoot javelin can be fired on a target by clicking on them once to see information on the attack and the second time to fire. Touch and melee attacks can be used by moving on to the target. A unit can melee an enemy only if they have the strike ability. When you move a unit, you will see different colored icons in the... Oh, God. Uh, when you move a unit, you will see different colored icons uh, in the movement path as it gets longer. These indicate how many attacks the unit can make after moving, whether melee or range. Green indicates three attacks, yellow indicates two, and red indicates one attack that can still be made. In addition to your to the skills of your units, your wizard can help turn the tide of a battle by casting spells into it. Selecting the spell icon on the right will open your spell book to the combat spells, which in addition to your unit spells, you can use as long as, any, as the combat occurs within your magical domain. Some spells can be cast on enemies, some on your own units, and some affect the entire combat. Hold the mouse over a spell, get information on it, and click on it to begin casting it. <sighs> When you've moved all your units, press end turn button to move to the next round of battle. Experiment with units and spells and do your best to defeat your opponent forces. Fuck. Okay, so. Um, we got things happening. They're doing some things. That guy is moving. He's, he's, he's a long distance. He missed three times? Jesus. Oh, fuck. Okay, so. We yeah, got this guy. I don't even know what to do. So he has... What does he have? So he has strike, forestry, mounted. He's healing. So... Go there, I guess. Huzzah! Okay, you, my guy. 
air elemental. Sea of Strike, Flying, Lightning Me, Poison Me, Lightning Strike, or Magic Strike. Let's head over here. Can I go for that quick lightning strike? We lose lightning on, upon the units. Oh. Is that just. Can I, can I do. So it's magic damage upon the unit? Understand. This guy just like helpful. Is he like okay? Uh, some stuff going on here. I don't even know. Yeah, got him. That was that. It went too far. <laughs> okay, I didn't do that well enough. Um, water concealment. Like water lock. So I wasn't sure if you. Oh, they both fucking missed. Come on, man. Well, this guy would be better for fighting. This is the same guy that I have. Oh, it's a magic servant. I guess that makes sense. Can I hit him back here? Can I put him right there? Hit him with that. Hit him with that magic bolts. Pop. Dog. Okay, I think I think we're done. I don't think we can really do anything else. I mean, there's like some arrows here. I don't even know what that is. Uh, I don't know. Let's just let's just be done. Hikes. You miss. All right, I'm done. All right, these guys are done. Uh, you know. Ooh, smack. Go fight. Let's go. Hit him. Bah. Uh, you. I'll try to head down here, I guess. Yeah, of course it didn't work. <laughs> oh, okay, can't do anything, I assume. Alright, let's just uh, have you go down here, you know, my guy. Uh, hit, him with the, hit him with that magic bolts. Yeah, I missed. Fuck's sake. Hey, what? what? Uh, mm, okay. Can I do that? I can't really do that that well. Healing. This guy. Okay, well, I can't. I can't do that. <sighs> oh man. This episode's probably been going on for too long now. Fucking, fucking, go next turn then. What is this? Oh my god. What the hell? What the fuck? I got him. Oh, Jesus. Good work in defeating me. This is no great tragedy as wizards are mortal. What? When defeated, they get pulled into the void, but as long as they own a wizard tower, they will respawn there the following turn. Press end turn, you'll see me respawn at my nearest wizard tower. Then you can press the next unit button to focus on your party and go through the teleporter circle next across the bridge from the windmill. You can find the next unit button at the bottom right of the screen next to the next turn button. Ugh. Alright, well I think I'm going to be done, because I, I can't play any more of this. <sighs> Next time, hopefully something that's a little bit, a uh, little bit, you know, less reading, and less, I don't know, brain killing, I guess, something like that. I don't know, I just... Uh, time to go to bed.